What Allah said in the Quran about Jesus, Son of Mary, peace be upon him, Part 4. 16. Allah Almighty asking Jesus, peace be upon him, whether he asked the people to take him and his mother as deities apart from Allah. Allah Almighty says. When Allah will say, O Jesus, Son of Mary, did you tell people, take me and my mother as gods besides Allah? He will say, Glory be to you. It is not for me to say what I have no right. Had I said so, you would have surely known it. You know what is within myself whereas I do not know what is within yourself. Indeed, you are the all-knower of all unseen. I did not tell them except what you ordered me, worship Allah, my Lord and your Lord. I was a witness over them as long as I was among them. But when you took me up, you yourself were the watcher over them, and you are a witness over all things. If you punish them, they are your slaves, if you forgive them, you are indeed the Almighty, the All-Wise. Allah will say, this is the day when the truthfulness of the truthful will benefits them. They will have gardens under which rivers flow, abiding therein forever. Allah is pleased with them and they are pleased with Him. That is the supreme triumph. To Allah belongs the dominion of the heavens and earth and all that is between them, and He is most capable of all things. Surat al-Ma'idah, 116-120 Remember that Allah will address Jesus son of Mary, peace be with Him, on the day of rising and ask Him whether He told people to worship Him and His mother besides Allah. Jesus will reply, declaring Allah's purity, it was not right for me to tell them anything but the truth. If I had said that you would know it, because nothing is hidden from you. You know what I keep hidden within myself, but I do not know what is with you. You are the only one who knows everything that is hidden and everything that is apparent. Jesus will say to his Lord, I only told people what you instructed me to tell them, to worship you alone. For as long as I remained amongst them I watched over what they were saying. When my term ended and I was raised to the sky alive, you, O oh Lord, were watching their actions. You are a witness to everything and nothing is hidden from you, so you know what I said to them and what they said after me. If you punish them, O Lord, they are your servants and you can do with them as you wish. If you graciously forgive those of them who had faith, nothing can stop you from doing so because you are the mighty, who cannot be overpowered, and the wise in your handling of matters. Allah will say to Jesus, peace be with him, that the day of rising is a day on which the truthfulness of those who were true in their intentions, statements and actions will be of benefit to them. They will receive gardens with palaces and trees overlooking flowing streams, in which they will live eternally, with death never coming to them. Allah will be pleased with them and will never become angry with them. They will pleased with Allah because of the everlasting delight they have received. Such reward and pleasure is the supreme success, which cannot be equaled by any other. Allah alone controls the heavens and the earth, and everything within them. He is their creator and the one who handles their affairs. He has power over everything and nothing can overpower him. Al-Ma'idah 5 colon 116-120 17. Jesus telling his people that he is a messenger who what Allah said in the Quran about Jesus. Son of Mary, peace be upon him, confirms the truthfulness of the scripture revealed before his advent and bears glad tidings of a messenger to come after him. Allah Almighty says. And, remember, when Jesus, son of Mary, said, O children of Israel, I am truly a messenger of Allah to you, confirming the Torah which came before me. And giving glad tidings of a messenger after me whose name will be Ahmad. But when he came to them with clear proofs, they said, This is clear magic. Surat as Saf, 6. Remember, O Messenger, when Jesus son of Mary, peace be upon him, said, O Israelites, I am Allah's Messenger. He has sent me to you to confirm the Torah that was revealed before me. I am nothing new among the Messengers. I have come to give the good news of a Messenger who will come after me, whose name is Ahmad. When Jesus brought the evidence indicating his truthfulness to them, they said, This is clear magic, and we will never follow you. As Saf, 6. 18. Allah Almighty states that he sent Jesus, son of Mary, directly after the previous prophets of the children of Israel. He gave him the gospel, confirming the Torah that was revealed before, and commanding people to judge according to what Allah has revealed in it. Then he revealed the Quran, confirming the previous scriptures like the Torah and the gospel, and commanding the people to judge according to what Allah revealed in it. And in their footsteps we sent Jesus, son of Mary, confirming the Torah that came before him, and we gave him the gospel that contained guidance and light. Confirming what came before it in the Torah, a guidance and admonition for the righteous. Let the people of the gospel judge according to what Allah has revealed therein. Whoever does not judge according to what Allah has revealed, it is they who are the rebellious.
We have revealed to you, O Prophet, the book in truth, confirming the scriptures that came before it and as a criterion over them. So judge between them according to what Allah has revealed, and do not follow their desires in disregard of the truth that has come to you. To each of you we have ordained a law and a way of life. If Allah had willed, he would have made you a single community, but he tests you in what he has given you. So compete with one another in doing good deeds. To Allah you will all return, then he will inform you concerning things over which you used to differ. Surat al-Ma'idah, 46,48 After the prophets of the Israelites, I sent Jesus, son of Mary, as a believer in the Torah, giving judgment in accordance with it. I also gave him the gospel that contained guidance to the truth and evidences to remove doubts and solve difficult cases of rulings. It corresponded to the Torah that came before it, except in a few rulings that it replaced. I made the gospel a guide and a means to restrain people from doing that which was prohibited. The Christians should believe in what Allah has revealed in the gospel and they should judge in accordance with the truth it contains prior to the coming of Muhammad, peace be upon him. Whoever does not judge according to what Allah has sent down, then such people are the ones who do not follow Allah and leave the truth for falsehood. I sent down to you, O Messenger, the Quran with the truth about which there is no doubt that it is from Allah. It is a confirmation and guardian for the revealed books that came before it. Whatever in those books conforms to it is the truth, and whatever does not is false. So judge between people according to what I have revealed to you in it and do not follow their desires which they have adopted in leaving the truth that has been revealed to you about which there is. No doubt. I have made a sacred law and clear path for every nation. If I willed to make all the laws one, I would have done so. But I made a separate law for every nation in order to test them all and to see who follows and who does not. So rush towards doing good actions and leave evil ones. Your return on the day of judgment is to me alone. I will inform you about that which you used to differ in and will repay you for the actions you did. Almida, 46-48 19. The belief of the disciples and their request from Jesus to supplicate Allah to send down to them a table spread with food from heaven. Allah Almighty says. And, remember, when I inspired the disciples, believe in me and in my messenger, Jesus. They said, we believe. And bear witness that we submit to Allah, as Muslims. And, remember, when the disciples said, O Jesus, son of Mary. Can your Lord send down to us a table, spread with food, from the heaven? He said, Fear Allah, if you are believers. They said. And, remember, when I inspired the disciples, believe in me and in my messenger, Jesus. They said, We believe and bear witness that we submit to Allah, as Muslims. And, remember, when the disciples said, O Jesus, son of Mary, can your Lord send down to us a table, spread with food, from the heaven? He said, Fear Allah, if you are believers. They said, We wish to eat from it and let our hearts be reassured and to know that you told us the truth, and to be witnesses to it. Jesus, son of Mary, said, O Allah, our Lord, Send down to us from heaven a table as a feast for us, for our present and future generations, and as a sign from you. And grant us provision, for you are the best of providers. Allah said, I will send it down to you, but if anyone among you disbelieves afterwards, I will subject him to a punishment that I have never punished anyone in the world. Surat Al-Ma'idah, 111-115 Another favor that Allah reminded him about was that Allah created assistance for him when he inspired the disciples to have faith in him and in Jesus. They submitted to that and responded saying, I believe. Be a witness, O our Lord, that we submit to you in devotion. Remember when the disciples said, Can you call on your Lord to send down a table from the sky? Jesus, peace be upon him, responded to them by telling them to be mindful of Allah and not to ask for such a thing. As it may prove to be a trial for them. He said to them, Place your trust in your Lord in seeking provision, if you are truly believers. The disciples said to Jesus, We want to eat from this table, so that our hearts are satisfied about Allah's perfect power and that you are his messenger. To know for certain that you have told us the truth about what you have brought from Allah and to be witnesses to it for those people who are not present. Jesus gave in to their request and prayed to Allah saying, Our Lord, send down to us a table of food, so that we can hold a festival on the day it comes down in order to honor you out of gratitude. It will also be a sign and proof of your oneness and of the truth of what I have been sent with. Give us such provision that will help us worship you. You, O our Lord, are the best provider. Allah answered the prayer of Jesus, peace be upon him, and said that he would send down the table that they had requested. 
He also told him that if anyone disbelieves after the table is sent down then they should blame only themselves, and that Allah will punish them with a severe punishment, unlike any other. Due to them seeing an overwhelming proof and any denial being the result of stubbornness. Allah fulfilled his promise and sent down the table to them. Al-Maidah, 111-115 20th, from the qualities of the disciples is that they are supporters for Allah's cause Allah Almighty says. But the Messiah said, O children of Israel, worship Allah, my Lord and your Lord. Whoever associates any partners with Allah, Allah has forbidden paradise for him. And his abode will be the fire. And the wrongdoers will have no helpers. Surat al-Ma'idah, 72 The Christians who say that, Allah is the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, have committed disbelief, as they have attributed lordship to someone other than Allah. The Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, himself said to them, O Israelites, worship Allah alone. He is my Lord and your Lord. We are all his servants. Whoever ascribes anything as a partner to Allah, then Allah will not allow them to ever enter paradise and their place will be the fire of hell. They will have no one to help or assist them before Allah and no one to save them from the punishment that awaits them. Al-Maidah, 72 Allah Almighty says When the example of the son of Mary was given, your people laughed and jeered, and they said, Are our gods better or he? They only mentioned him to you for the sake of argument. They are indeed a contentious people. He was only a slave whom we favored and made him an example for the children of Israel. If we willed, we could, destroy you and, replace you with angels, succeeding one another on earth. And he, Jesus, will be a sign of the hour, so do not have doubt about it and follow me. This is a straight path. Do not let Satan turn you away, from the straight path, for he is your sworn enemy. When Jesus came with clear signs, he said, I have come to you with wisdom, and to clarify to you some of that concerning which you differ, so fear Allah and obey me. Indeed, Allah is my Lord and your Lord, so worship him. This is a straight path. Surat Az Zukraf, 57-64 When the idolaters thought that the Jesus the Christians worshipped was included in the statement of Allah the Exalted. Indeed, you, disbelievers, and what you worship other than Allah are the firewood of hell. You will be coming to, enter, it, and Allah had prohibited worshipping him just like he had prohibited the worship of idols, your people, O Messenger, began persisting in argument, saying. We are pleased that our idols are of the same status as Jesus. So Allah revealed, refuting them, indeed, those for whom the best, reward, has proceeded from me, they are from it far removed. And they say, are our deities better or is Jesus better? Ibn al-Zibari and others did not draw up this comparison in love of hope in reaching the truth, rather in love of argumentation. They are a nation quarrelsome in nature. Jesus, the son of Mary is nothing but a servant from the servants of Allah whom he favored with messengership and made him an example for the Israelites. They can use him as proof of the power of Allah because he created him without a father, just like he created Adam without parents. O children of Adam! If I wish to destroy you and make the angels succeed you on earth in your place, they would worship me and not ascribe partners with me at all. Indeed, Jesus is a sign from the major signs of the hour, when he shall descend towards the end of time. So do not doubt the hour's occurrence and follow me in whatever I have brought to you from Allah. This thing I have brought is the straight path in which there is no deviance. And let Satan not turn you away from the straight path through his lure and deception. Indeed, he is an enemy whose enmity is clear. After Jesus, peace be upon him, brought clear signs of his messengership to his people, he said to them. I have brought wisdom to you from Allah so that I can make clear to you some matters of your religion you differ in. So be mindful of Allah by fulfilling his commands and refrain from that which he has prohibited, and obey me in whatever I command you with and prohibit you from. Indeed, Allah is my Lord and your Lord, we have no Lord other than him, so devote your worship to him alone. This monotheism that I call you towards and devotion of worship to Allah is the straight path in which there is no deviance. Az Zukraf, 57-64 22nd, Allah's praise of Jesus, son of Mary, and those who followed him rightly from among the disciples and others, until when the monarchs have altered the religion of Jesus. And the people were misguided about the religion of Allah Almighty. Allah Almighty says. Then we sent our messengers in their footsteps, and we sent after them Jesus, son of Mary, we gave him the gospel, and instilled kindness and mercy in the hearts of those who followed him. As for monasticism, they invented it, we did not prescribe it for them, seeking thereby Allah's pleasure, yet they did not observe it faithfully. So we gave those who believed among them their reward, but most of them are evildoers. Surat al-Hadid, 27 Then followed them up with my messengers and I sent them one after the other to their nations. I sent after them Jesus the son of Mary and gave him the gospel, placing gentleness and mercy in the hearts of those who brought faith in him. They were affectionate and merciful to one another, but innovated extremism into their religion and left aside marriage and comforts which I had made permissible for them. 
I did not seek that from them, they made it necessary upon themselves and in doing so innovating in the religion. I only sought that they follow the my pleasure which they did not do, and so, granted those who believed from them their reward. However, the majority of them left my obedience by rejecting what my messenger Muhammad, peace be upon him, brought to them. Al-Hadid, 27. 23rd, Allah's judgment concerning whoever says that Allah is the Messiah, with mentioning the reason of that in the position of the Messiah, peace be upon him. Allah Almighty says. Those who say, Allah is the Messiah, son of Mary, have certainly disbelieved. Say, who has the power to prevent Allah, if he chose to destroy the Messiah, son of Mary, his mother? And all those who are on earth. To Allah belongs the dominion of the heavens and earth and everything between them. He creates what he wills, and Allah is most capable of all things. Surat al-Ma'idah, 17. Those Christians who say that, Allah is the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, have committed disbelief. Say to them, O Messenger, who is able to prevent Allah from destroying the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, as well as his mother and all of those on earth if he wishes to do so. If no one is able to stop Allah from this, it is a clear indication that there is no God but Allah and that all of those people, Jesus, son of Mary, his mother and all of creation, are all Allah's creation. The dominion of the heavens and the earth, and whatever is between them, is Allah's. He creates whatever he wishes and one such creation of his was Jesus, peace be upon him, who was his servant and messenger. Allah is able to do all things. Nothing is outside his ability. He created Adam without a father or mother. He created Eve without a mother and he created Jesus without a father. Almida, 17. Allah Almighty also says. They have certainly disbelieved, those who say, Allah is the Messiah, son of Mary. But the Messiah said, O children of Israel, worship Allah. My Lord and your Lord. Whoever associates any partners with Allah, Allah has forbidden paradise for him, and his abode will be the fire. And the wrongdoers will have no helpers. Surat al maida 72. The Christians who say that, Allah is the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, have committed disbelief, as they have attributed lordship to someone other than Allah. The Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, himself said to them, O Israelites, worship Allah alone. He is my Lord and your Lord. We are all his servants. Whoever ascribes anything as a partner to Allah, then Allah will not allow them to ever enter paradise and their place will be the fire of hell. They will have no one to help or assist them before Allah and no one to save them from the punishment that awaits them. Almida, 72. 24. Allah Almighty states that the Messiah is a messenger and that his mother is a woman of truth, they both ate food. So, he is a messenger of Allah like the other messengers of Allah. Allah Almighty says. The Messiah, son of Mary, was no more than a messenger. There were messengers who passed away before him, and his mother was a woman of truth, they both ate food. See how we make our signs clear to them yet see how they are deluded. Surat al maida 75. The Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, was only a messenger like other messengers. Just as death occurs to other messengers, it will occur to him as well. His mother, Mary, was a truthful and sincere woman. Both of them were in need of and used to consume food. How can they be gods when they were in need of food? Look, O messenger, and think about how I make clear to them the signs indicating my oneness and the falsehood of their extremism in attributing lordship to others besides me. Despite this, they do not recognize these signs. Then look and think about how they are misled from the truth, despite these clear signs indicating my oneness. Almida, 75. 25. Allah Almighty states that obeying other than him in deeming lawful what he has made unlawful or deeming unlawful what he has made lawful with consent and reassurance of the heart is a form of polytheism that Allah Almighty has forbidden. Allah Almighty says. The Jews say, Ezra is the son of Allah, and the Christians say, the Messiah is the son of Allah. These are mere words that they utter, imitating the words of the disbelievers before them. May Allah ruin them, how can they be deluded? They have taken their rabbis and monks as lords besides Allah, as well as the Messiah, son of Mary, even though they were commanded to worship only one God. None has the right to be worshipped except him, glorified is he far above what they associate with him. Surat at Taba, 30-31 The Jews and the Christians associate partners with Allah, the Jews do so by claiming that, Uzair is the son of Allah. And the Christians do so by claiming that the Messiah, Jesus, is the son of Allah. What they say with their own mouths is simply made up without any proof from Allah. By saying such things, they are similar to the idolaters before them, who said that the angels were the daughters of Allah. Allah is far above such things, may Allah destroy them. How can they turn away from the clear truth to falsehood?
The Jews made their rabbis lords instead of Allah, as did the Christians with their monks, by allowing them to permit what Allah had forbidden them and forbidding what Allah had allowed for them. And the Christians made the Messiah, Jesus the son of Mary, a god next to Allah. As well as, Uzair and Jesus the son of Mary, to worship him alone, and not to associate anything with him. He, glory be to him, is the only God, and there is nothing worthy of worship except him. He is, glory be to him, sacred, far above having any partner that these idolaters and others claim. At Taba, 30-31 These are the final lines of what I managed to write about the biography of Jesus, son of Mary, peace be upon them both, as reported in the Noble Curran. At the conclusion of this research, I hope that anyone who has a comment or suggestion related to this research should not hesitate to notify me about it. With my deepest thanks and appreciation for him. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon the best of mankind, his family, and companions. Peace be upon you.